So I wanted to make this video to address anyone who is either stuck in round one or round two of paycheck protection funding, especially with round one, maybe you're running into some kind of SBA issue where they threw a flag and your application is just sitting there, not processed yet, and you're just waiting. Maybe you're running into a funding failed issue where you've basically been approved, but the funding just hasn't reached your bank account yet. Maybe you're dealing with some kind of identification verification issue and you don't really know what to do. I wanted to just compile everything that I know as of right now, even if some of that information may be incomplete, and then present it. That way you can do what you will with that information and possibly move the needle on wherever your application may be sitting right now. And also I wanted to briefly just talk about my individual situation with the Paycheck Protection Program. My situation here has been wild for, for, for lack of a better word. Ever since this program came out, I've been fascinated by it. But at the same time, as soon as I started understanding this program, my first thoughts are this is this is overly confusing. They use terms like payroll, which is especially weird when you just work for yourself, forgiveness. All the verbiage is just way too complex and confusing and it's just not accessible to your, your average small business owner or independent contractor or whatever you might be. And because of that, I took it upon myself because I, my heart goes out for small business owners, especially when they're struggling. I took it upon myself to try and attempt to make these programs as accessible as possible and address as many issues and complications that people are running into as possible. And just, I, I guess by, by luck of the draw, I somehow became the number one source for all things Paycheck Protection Program, as far as I can tell, by a, a long shot. And, be, and along with that comes a ton of responsibility. And I'm totally, I, I accept the responsibility. I like the responsibility because I like doing this kind of thing. And ultimately it res results in so many success stories that I'm just absolutely grateful to, to and humbled to, to hear about. But in my, in my search for the easiest way to apply for the Paycheck Protection Program, that's how I became connected with Wompley. And it seemed like they had a common goal to mind to, to just make this as accessible as possible. And through my, through my connection with them, they connected me with the, the head of the SBA's Paycheck Protection Program. And that's when I really started getting insider insights and a deeper understanding of how these things work. And then that way I could present all that information to individuals to make this entire process just much more accessible and you know get people far more funding. Again, as far as I can tell, as an individual, I am the result of, of more successful funded paycheck protection loans than, than anyone else. Like we're talking numbers in the hundreds of millions of dollars in approved PPP loans. And most people have been approved, but there's still a group of people who have yet to be approved. You're running into some kind of compl complication. And understandably, you are either upset, you're confused, or you're anxious. Or maybe you're just, you're probably, probably most people aren't any of those things, but you're just trying to figure out a situation. But I just hear from the people who are upset, confused, or anxious, understandably, about these programs, especially with how the funding may run out soon if it's not extended. But I just wanted to... To, to talk about, I guess, Wompley a little bit and, and tell you my frustrations as well, because they are not perfect. They are not perfect. No lender in the Paycheck Protection Program process is perfect. But when I was looking at everyone who was administering this program, they were doing it best. They were the first people to allow you to apply for the first round and second round back to back. They were the first people to allow you to apply with gross income. They were the only, one of the only lenders who were going to allow people to apply all the way to the deadline. They were one of the biggest parts for the push to extend this program beyond the old, uh, the old deadline. They were the ones pushing Congress to make this happen. They've done a lot of good things to help here, but I'm still very frustrated with this process because they, you know, there's certain things they could do better. They could do better with customer service and communication there. However, I don't, I don't know the inner workings of their company. I don't know how inundated they are. All I know is they've approved more loans than any other bank like Wells Fargo, Chase, things like that. But I just wanted to say that I'm frustrated with this situation too. I wish everyone could just receive funding, but also, I'm talking to the other side and understand where they come from as well. And I'm, I'm the middleman who just gets heat from all sides. So I just wanted to, to kind of explain my position here that I understand the frustration. I still think that they, that they are the best processors of these, but they are not perfect. And from the very beginning, I've said, these people seem to be doing it the best. However, you can apply through any SBA approved lender. And this is where we're at. There's a group of people who are still waiting for funding. The fight is still on. I'm still putting in as much effort as I possibly can to find the solutions of these problems. I mean, all morning, I have been either on the phone, reading forums, or doing every bit of digging I possibly can to 
fine answers here. Well, my family is in town. They are sitting outside in the backyard right now, relaxing. While well, I'm in here trying to find solutions to the Pace Paycheck Protection Program and get people funding. So. I just want you to know that I am putting in effort. I am not going anywhere. I'm here until you receive funding to your Paycheck Protection Program loan. So let's get into some of these questions and answers that need to be addressed. So the first issue that people are still running into is the funding failed issue. And digging into this as much as I can, it seems like it comes down to two reasons. Either the deposit was attempted and not successful, which I don't think that's the case for most people. We talked about this the other day, and most people who called their banks, their banks said there was no ACH attempted. I don't think that that's the case for most people at this point. Number two, your lender was ready to make the deposit and for whatever reason, your banking information was not available. Now, I don't know what that reason is. Maybe it's a glitch, maybe it's some other issue. I don't wanna speculate on what the reason is there, but I would suggest that you go log into your PPP Fastlane account and re-upload your banking information or just make sure your banking information is there. And if you wanna be extra safe, you can do the manual upload as well and make sure that your banking is completely perfect there. And also we have a Discord group on paycheck protection funding. And in there, there's a few people who have discovered that you can make an account through Played, that company that links your bank account. And if you go in there, you can check to see if your account was linked and synced properly. Now, I don't know if this really will make a difference to your funding or not, but it may give you a little bit of peace of mind. In order to make an account there and check what exactly is going on, you can go to my.plaid.com and make an account and you should see your linked bank account to Wompley there and just make sure that it syncs properly. Again, I don't know if that is 100% going to resolve anything, but it should give you some peace of mind if you just want to double check something else. I'm, like I said, I'm just giving all information I have, whether that may be incomplete or not, and then we'll update more and more in the future. Now, the identity check issue some people were at first saying that they weren't able to connect to the app whatsoever. This seemed like it was just because so many people were trying to do it all at once. The servers were just bogged down. I haven't heard of that issue ever since, but I did hear of the of an issue where people were saying that their birthday, like the day they were born and the month that they were born in, were switched. That should also be fixed if you go back and check your identity check issue. Wompley has said that they have fixed that issue. If you're running into another issue, let me know there. Another thing that people were, were running into with the identity check is they log in for whatever reason they weren't able to complete the process most people in that case are able just to either try a different device or a different browser and then it will go through and there aren't really issues beyond that also some people are saying that their promissory notes that they go to sign don't include their banking information and they think that that is connected to the funding failed issue i asked wampley about this and they said that's not the case it's it's just up to the lender whether they want to include that on the promissory note or not the best thing that, that you can do in that case is again, is just log into your PPP Fastlane account and check to make sure that your banking details are on there. If you go into your loan and then click update information and then the banking information, you can click on that and you just make sure that your banking information is all accurate there. Now, I know a lot of people are stuck in the lender secondary review as well. And if you're stuck in that, it still seems like, as far as I can tell, this is an SBA issue, and it seems like for most people, it's simply because you applied through multiple lenders. Now, that's anecdotal as well, but it seems like most people who are running into that say, hey, I applied through five lenders, and I'm, I'm running into lender secondary review. What should I do? Because it's an error code at the SBA that if someone is, if it looks like to them that one person is trying to get multiple loans, it may cause a flag. Now, this is extremely frustrating because if you've been a subscriber for a while and when we had the SBA administrator on, he said you can apply through multiple lenders and everyone has basically said you can apply through multiple, multiple lenders all along. I don't think it was necessarily an issue, but it seems like a certain group of people are running into issues because of that. And because of this, people are now saying, hey, you probably shouldn't apply through multiple lenders. So it's up to you whether you apply through another lender if you're running into that issue or not. I don't wanna give advice either way as to what exactly you should do in this case. Lenders are saying, just hold off, but it's up to you if you want to just try and throw in applications elsewhere. Because as far as these SBA error codes go, they're very opaque and it's hard, it's hard to understand what solutions should be done here. Now, the expectation is that those applications withhold error codes at the SBA will just eventually be released because the SBA just has so many applications, they're never gonna be able to process them, that they're just going to release those and then they'll be approved. And I, I hope that that happens. That would be 
the biggest blessing that that, that that happens. Now, beyond this, there's a lot of people who have been approved for their first round of PPP funding, but not their second round of PPP funding. And they want to know, hey, when can when is this going to start, especially through the fast lane? How this works is after you receive funding for the first round, the SBA then needs to code your application or your profile or whatever they, they call it on their end. They need to code it. They've been funded for round one and now you can apply for round two. And once that happens, your lender will be notified and then you'll be notified to finish the application and apply for funding for round two. Now, I know a small group of people have already received the, the round two application for the PPP fast lane, but it doesn't seem like that's the majority, but it it is, it's good to know that these are starting to be rolled out. So that's everything that we have as of right now. If you want quicker information, I recommend joining the community discord because there's a lot of people there who are just digging on various issues. You can ask questions and I post stuff there generally as soon as I can find it because I can post it there faster than I can produce a YouTube video. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope it gives context on my situation and just the PPP situation in general. And I would just like to thank you for watching. I would like to thank you for being a subscriber. And um, I, I just hope that everyone gets funding and we can, uh, we can move on from this darn thing at some point near in the future. So until next time, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a profitable day.